Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. Today we will discuss about banking as a service. In short, BAS, that is, uh, we call it as BAS. Now, uh, you must have heard about uh, software as a service, which was commonly called as SaaS, or later on we called something as BAS, platform as a service. This is banking as a service or if I simplify that banking services as a service right um, so let's see what it is uh, concept then how it works benefits and examples now specifically in this video uh, we will talk about the major evolution that is happening nowadays that lot of third party players who are actually not banks are coming in between and they are uh, evolutionizing the concept of open finance in form of this BAS, Banking as a Service. So let's begin. Well, so we, we have talked about uh, this process so wherein said that bank and customer service providers they can interact with each other with customer consent to provide different kind of banking services so commonly if you remember we were giving example of uber where a customer is trying to make a payment but he does not need to go to his bank account and make the payment instead of that the payment can be initiated from a customer's portal or uber portal right so we were talking about that now what was needed customer service providers will develop the api interface or api infrastructure with the bank to provide the service right so individual uh, customer service providers, let's say one is Uber, one is Ola, there might be something else as well. So they, they need to develop their own infrastructure to make this happen. Instead of that, what is happening is that there is a third party which has come up called as BAS platform provider or short form BPP that is acting between these two players, bank and customer service providers to provide this infrastructure so uh, when the infrastructure they would have a framework where it they have already integrated with the apis and when a customer service provider approaches them it can be seamlessly provided with very less turnaround time that is why these bass players have become very popular in this market at this point of time so for providing this service they would take some monthly fees on from the service provider and that can be passed on to bank uh, all as well for bearing their costs so what is happening in short customer service providers will not integrate directly with banks they will integrate with this bpp players and through bpp players they can integrate with multiple bank APIs. So that is the benefit that is happening. Now let's look at how it works. Now, as a first process, your bank or FI would choose their preferred BPP. So there are a lot of BPP. So at this point of time, India itself, there are more than 100 BPP. In world, probably there would be thousands of BPP over there. So banks will select their preferred BAS. Uh, provider or BPPs. Now, <clears throat> bank will open their APIs to these BPP players. BPP would develop the sandbox and production platform. So, when I say sandbox, sandbox would be required for testing purposes for integration for further integration. And production platform is the actual productionized infrastructure that would enable the real-time 
payments or information sharing now bpp would also develop packages or products for white labeling now based on different kind of need of this customer service provider bpp would actually provide or categorize these into different packages so for example if uber would lick uh, would need only payment services from the bank but if it is another lending company then they might need your account information sharing service as well plus the payment services right so as per that different different packages and products would be created by the bas and they can be white labeled as per the customer's need as per the final customer service provider now bpp also price these offerings so either they can have a different different service level pricing or a combined package level pricing right so they they would do a pricing of this customer service provider gets onboarded by the bpp so it's the responsibility of bpps to go to market for different service providers and uh, bpp only takes care of onboarding the csps onto their platform now for this in some cases they take minimal implementation cost which is probably one time cost for integration or sometimes they can also provide that with zero implementation cost now once csp is onboarded so csp will use it use the services of the bank to bpp and pay a monthly fees so this monthly fees will take care of your bas providers cost plus your financial institutions cost and some more margin for profit making of both these entities now if there are any operational or technical issues in this entire infrastructure the bpp would take the full responsibility of solving it now in that way what is happening customer service provider would not need to go to different banks so uh, they would just integrate with one bpp and in turn can connect to multiple fis and even bank fis do not need to integrate separately with multiple customer service providers they will integrate with only one bpp and bpp can attract multiple service providers so that is what is adding to the benefits that this is happening faster go to market for csps csps uh, do not need to integrate separately they would have a faster go to market now reduced day to day operational and tech issues because bpp will take care and they are master in their uh, domain so they would be able to take care of the issues for all the service providers so now, there might be common issues among different service providers that th those can be handled together so that's why reduced day to day operational tech issues are also achieved now this also helps in reduced effort for bank and fi because they don't have to get with multiple csps they don't have to develop or keep separate testing team for troubleshooting and all this also reduces the effort for banks and fi so because of these three benefits or um, there has been an evolution of this bas platform Uh, providers and there are a lot of uh, uh, bpp these days which are active providing value added service now let's also look at some of the examples i have just captured few like your intergiro pd or a banks avalok even perdix so these are very active high scale operating bpps uh, which are operating in india and abroad Uh, i hope uh, this has been able to uh, give you an example of open finance application and how the overall uh, banking uh, service providing has been digitized with much much ease and evolutionized as well for the customer benefit uh, please let me know if uh, you like this video or if you have any additional clarification um, please let me know in the comments below and i would be able to provide you the details thanks a lot for watching please do share subscribe and like